with music from the greatest showman how apt is that this is the greatest show one of our final marching bands mountain view high school spartan marching band from silicon valley the heart of silicon valley and this again like all the marching bands that we've seen about inspiring the next generation they've done just that in london some of your favorites bob no, i'm not going to say it again but they really are you wait you just wait you know i was right about the cotton candies you wait till you see these guys they're really fantastic when they come on through just a quick note on there on uh, on mountain view they're a pretty famous band because they were selected to travel to los angeles all the way from uh, san jose california to participate in the filming of the 1983 motion picture the right stuff good movie that i like that not those particular band members. Well, not those particular students, but the school and the band, and the ethos is just the same. Now we have the London Borough of Bromley. There's nothing like an army cup of tea. Which army, of course? It's the Sally Army, otherwise known as... I don't think you quite said that right. You're supposed to do it with a Cockney accent. I can't There's do... nothing like an army cup of tea. Where'd you get that from? I don't know. That's very good. I just plucked it. Yeah, okay, fine. Uh, the Royal British Legion Poppy Appeal and mind the mayor's charities mayor kim botting who we saw right at the front there salvation army for those that don't know work a lot here particularly in the uk with the homeless with feeding programs with shelter too some great work done by them and there as well as the uh, current mayor kim botting uh, we have ian payne uh, who is a former mayor and a prominent member of the Salvation Army who has put together the entry from the Salvation Army in London's New Year's Day parade today. Uh, Ian is actually a prominent member as well of the London Mayors Association, which is the prime sponsor of London's New Year's Day parade. Uh, they, rep they are the organisation that represents all of London's mayors, past and present. And way back at the beginning of the parade, riding in one of the carriages, we had the current chairman of the parade, who is a wonderful lady called Claire Whelan. Now, our next performers are never known to creep quietly out of an arena. You can hear them coming a mile off. Talent of eight competitive clogging teams. Is Dan listening? I hope so, because we want him to explain yep. the difference between I, tap dancing I and clogging. I desperately need Dan to explain that to me. Yep. This is America's clogging all-stars. You've got to say, pretty amazing. Yeah, did I actually see sparks flying from their shoes? I think you did. <laughs> I thought I Not did. Not just from their shoes, but from the hands of those <laughs> watching on too. Deserve that rapturous yeah. applause. They weren't kidding, were they? You can hear them before you see no, them, but when you see them... Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely superb. What's brilliant is these are rival teams, eight different competitive clogging teams that have come together for London's New Year's Day parade. Look pretty friendly today. Got on quite well, I think. <laughs> but weren't they good? They were really good. 
And they, of course, have made a, a little appearance in our uh, pre-show Trafalgar Square on the 30th of December. And I reckon a lot of people who saw them would have really enjoyed coming down here and seeing them again today. Anyway, I think uh, we're now going to find out the answer to the mystery. I can't the problem wait. that we've been challenged with all day is what about these about the difference in the shoes? Anyway, Dan Lobb is now going to tell us. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys. Marcy and Ryan, two of our cloggers, husband and wife, and instrumental in bringing this fantastic group of dancers over. First of all, we've been wanting to know all day the difference between tap shoes and clogs. Tell us quickly, Ryan. Clogging shoes have a double plate on the bottom, so they jingle. They jingle when they move. It's, it's the jingle. It's the jingle. It's the jingle. Listen, you guys have been absolutely fantastic. I had the pleasure of seeing you during the preview show. How have you enjoyed the experience over here, Marcy? We have had a wonderful time so far. We've been just treated wonderfully. We've had a lot of tours and great time so far. And how many of you did you bring over in the end? Because I know there are groups all over the U.S. Yeah, we have 92 dancers, 181 total. And how many guys? Four guys. Four. It must be rough work. Listen, thanks so much for, yeah, for everything that you've done this year, and uh, happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year. There you go. It's all, of, it's all about the wiggly bits. <laughs> all now, about the jingle bells. Now we know the secrets. Thank you very much, Dan. How long uh, do you think it took them to go through airport security, beeping every time <laughs> they took a step? I it. hope they packed the shoes. Anyway, <laughs> what have we got coming in now? We've got... The London Borough of Hackney, uh, celebrating yeah. Windrush. The Windrush generation arrived in the UK between 1948 and 1971 from Caribbean countries, bringing wonderful workers to this great city of ours, celebrating new cultures and diversity. And this very much from Hackney is about that. Rather nice little bit of reggae, don't you think? <laughs> So the London Borough of Hackney promoting Caribbean culture. And that bringing to an end our borough's competition. We've seen some real fantastic floats, performers coming through as well. In just a few moments, the judges that have been along the route will make their final decisions and then we'll announce who's won the Borough's Yeah, their scores have been faxed through to the scores compiler who's sitting below us right now, Caroline, working these things out. And now that Hackney's gone through and the last judges here will have, will have sent in their scores to, uh, to the compiler, Ashmi, uh, we should be knowing within the next few minutes exactly who's won well oh, look there's donna maria <laughs> donna maria miss christmas and it used to be the christmas children but it's now mr christmas because they've all grown up a bit but you know what donna was at the very very first parade way back in 1987 and has not missed a parade ever since so it's I was lovely say, to see not donna. just miss christmas but miss london's new year's day parade well she should be really shouldn't she or doesn't miss london's <laughs> she new doesn't day parade. <laughs> Very good, Caroline, very good. Um, now here they are. Go on, you can say it again. What are they? The Sri Makatajivan Swami Baba Pipe Band. Pretty good. <laughs> a civilian pipe band with military precision. Every year, a highlight of the parade. The sun just about setting here in London, but in the early evening, 
mist and darkness, that's certainly brightening up the streets of London. They have sister pipe bands across the world. So not just here in London, but in the USA, Kenya, in Manchester, and in India. And they're based out, I'm going to try saying this, not very good. They're based out of the stunning, and it is stunning, it really is a stunning temple. The Sri Swaminarai and Mandir Kingsbury Hindu Temple up there in North London. One of our final groups of performers then here in London. Another treat up next though. We've seen them lifting the spirits throughout the parade. Not that they needed lifting. Such has been the joy of the parade over the last three or so hours. But Varsity Spirit, all American, UCA and NCA cheerleaders. Every year we do the parade, they get more and more spectacular. The jumps, the flicks, the kicks too. Truly quite remarkable. We love them every single week. Not only do we love them, Caroline, you and me, but everybody along the street just really, really thrills to the performances of the All-American UCA and NCA cheerleaders. And they're giving us a real treat as the, uh, as the final number this evening because we're going to get celebration by Cool and the Gang. And it has been a complete celebration from start to finish. And it's been pretty cool. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> Uh, I didn't really say that. No, off he goes. <laughs> off he goes, yeah. Yeah, Chris Gold, uh, on-street entertainer, not wrong. We do love them. We and do, they love we do, we do. To London. And they seem to love being here, which is the even better thing as far as I'm concerned. You know, they're, they're absolutely fantastic. They give absolutely everything, and they're really, really brilliant. You know, we had some of those in Trafalgar Square this morning helping us uh, promote the parade to uh, people who we wanted to come down and see it. And so they've been on duty, if you like, working their socks off, entertaining for maybe, what, no, nearly 12 hours now. They talk about leadership, about being ambassadors in their schools, about building confidence, athletic ability, and about cheering on their school. Seabreeze High School has a little clue as to our final marching Check band. That. Now, this is the marching band, if you remember seeing um, Caleb Lee at the beginning. This is the band that he supports. They, the, the school is just around the corner from where he lives in Daytona Beach, Florida. And you can see just how much they have wanted to be here in Britain with us. Look at the drums. Look at those drum cases and the Union Jacks all over them. And of course, when you hear the music that they're going to play, you'll realize just how much they owe and they enjoy the culture. They owe a debt to and they enjoy the culture of Great Britain. Because what are they going to play? Well, of course, they're going to play Beatles tunes. What a fitting finale to a wonderful three and a half hours that we've sat here watching these brilliant bands perform.
Uh, how good a sea breeze. Very good is the short answer under the direction of Jared Koskowski. Now, we've nearly reached the end of LMYDP 2019 and... Uh, Say it ain't so. It, is, <laughs> it really, really is nearly the end. And we're going to be doing the uh, presentation to the boroughs before too long. But um, just while we prepare for that presentation and while they tot up the scores and so on, uh, why don't we go and have a word with some of those fabulous cheerleaders that we just saw performing Celebration by Cool and the Gang. Dan, I think you've got a couple of the girls down there with you. Yeah, three of them, Bob. Uh, we can't let a year go by without me chatting to a few cheerleaders because they really are in many ways the heart of London's New Year's Day parades. So we have Destiny, Zoe and Bailey here. What was your experience like out on that parade there? Destiny. It was truly insane, like just seeing the amount of people it was out of this world, honestly. And I, I loved it, I really did. I've waited for this opportunity for so long and I'm so happy it's here. A lot of hard work must have gone in before you guys came over here, Zoe. Yes, so much work. We would get in groups and we would help each other work through all of the material and a lot of sweat came into this, all of this. And it was just, its we're all so proud to be here because we worked so hard for this and it's so amazing. And it's an opportunity that may be just a once in a lifetime thing. Yeah, I come from a really small town so I don't see big cities like this or this amount of people and this was amazing for me just to be around this many people and get to perform in front of them. Well, I hope you take away some very fond memories of your time here in London. Happy New Year. Perhaps you could look into the camera there. Give us a little jiggle with your pom-poms and say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Love you, London. Thanks very much, Dan. And we've got the uh, refrain of Hey Jude. I think we would need the crowd to be singing along to that whilst these scores are computed. Caroline here is swaying to it. That's what you meant to do to Hey Jude, didn't it? Sway. That's a bit of a sway. Yeah, yeah that's a very good sway. So before <laughs> bringing uh, London's New Year's Day Parade 2019, London welcomes the world to its climatic confetti field close for the first time then in the parade's 33-year history. We're going to announce live to the world the winners of the London Borough Entry Competition. Yep, well... Of course, everyone's a winner because everybody who gets to take part in this carries something away from it, something really fantastic. And even those boroughs that may not be winners in the competition, uh, may not be highlighted in the competition, they all have won something for their charities. They've brought recognition to their charities and uh, they are all going to benefit one way or another. But anyway, I have now had put in front of me, Caroline, the... Uh, seven the names of the seven boroughs that fulfill the uh, the not the runners-up yeah I guess the runners-up in the competition ten. this is the top ten this is the numbers four to ten but they're not in any particular order because they're all counted as the same as good as each other and they all gonna win each of these boroughs is going to win five thousand pounds for their mayor's chosen charity and I'll tell you which ones they're gonna be so, uh, first of all, we've got the London Borough of Hounslow is, uh, is winning £5,000 for the Mayor's Charities. Then Merton is getting £5,000 as well. The London Borough of Barking and Dagnam is getting the same prize, as is the Borough of Barnet, the Borough of Harrow, and the Borough of Hillingdon. So those are the seven winners of the runners-up prizes for want of a better way of putting it and they're all going to win five thousand pounds and that's going to do an awful lot for their mayoral chosen charities the but anyway have waited to see here we go being announced. so have you got number three for us caroline In who's third it going to be place, it is the london borough of redbridge with redbridge dances through life so can you remind us a bit about what they did? Do we have... Uh... This was celebrating Redbridge's diversity. We saw them dancing, remembering the suffragette movement, Winston Churchill. What Redbridge has given the rest of the world was made up of Redbridge residents. That was in third place. In second place, the London Borough of Havering. Chris Gould just announcing to the crowd here too. Come fly with us and Havering Airways was very much that performance. So there we are seeing Councillor Dilip Patel from the London Borough of Havering. 
his charity so. is Havering Mind, Rainbow Trust and the Lennox Children's Cancer Fund. So that's three and two. So what's going to be number one this year? Well, I can tell you the answer to that because you've just slipped a piece of paper in front of me. And the winner of the London Boroughs Competition at LNYDP 2019 is the London Borough of Sutton. And you know what? I think they're worthy winners. I thought they were really good. Uh, it's the Gary Mason charity is going to be the beneficiary of £10,000, uh, which is the uh, mayor's chosen charity. Rem uh, remembering the, uh, the entry, uh, they were the Pointers Studio Dancers performing as part of uh, Southern Sutton's entry with many volunteers in national dress with flags, banners and foreign languages. And uh, their chosen charity provides therapy using hand drums, working with all ages and specialising in those with special needs and or disabilities, continuing the work of the late Gary Mason, the former British heavyweight boxing champion of Great Britain. And there he is with that. It's a pretty big trophy. Councillor Steve place trophy. Cook yep. with the first place trophy, handed over by our founding patron, Roger Bramble. So all that remains to be done to close LMYDP for yet another year. It's terrible, isn't it? Closing something on the first day of the year. Never mind. We'll be back next year, Caroline. But I think the national anthem of our country, the United Kingdom, of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, is to be played by the Seabreeze High School marching band from Daytona, Florida. Just shows how we welcome the world. Seabreeze High School marching 100, bringing to a close London's New Year's Day Parade 2019. A parade that's been all over the world and returned to the streets of London for the greatest show on the planet. Thank you for your company over the last three and a half hours. Thank you to Bob. Thank you to everyone that's been in touch via social media. Couldn't have put it better myself. Happy New Year. Carry on the conversation on social media. We'll see you this time next year. Thank you for your company. Goodbye.